Hey everyone, Cedric from Vertex Marketing Agency, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up Google Analytics 4, so GA4, on your Shopify store. This is probably one of the easiest way of setting it up, so this is gonna be a short video, but with that being said, let's get into this week's content. Okay, so I'm now inside my Shopify store, and I first wanna say that with this current setup, you're gonna be able to send standard events. So that means a view content event, an add to cart event, uh, add payment info, initiate checkout, and purchase, right? But there's actually a lot of different ways of sending data to GA4. I really, really like this method, but let's say you wanna track something a bit more custom. So let's say you have an opt-in form in a Shopify store, and when someone gives you their email, you're, you wanna track that as a lead, and when someone gives you the email, you're maybe you know, giving 10% off, and you wanna track that inside GA4. Well, with this current setup, you're not, you won't be able to track that, but you'll be able to track all your other standard event. But it doesn't mean that if you use this method, you won't be able to track the um, custom event later down the, the line. You just need to potentially set it up with something like Google Tag Manager. So it's completely normal to have this set up as like more of like a standard setup, but then still have Google Tag Manager on your website installed to track those custom things that this app, which is a Google app, won't really do automatically, right? Because what this does is it's, it's a really, first of all, it's really easy to install. And because it's easy to install, it's more of like a template. So it only tracks really the standard things that someone with a Shopify store would want to track. But then when you want to track those custom things, that's when you need a custom setup. And then in able to, to set that up, you probably need something like Google Tag Manager. But yeah, there's a lot of different ways of setting it up and sending data to GA4. So I've mentioned the native integration, which that's what I'm showing you in this video. But then there's also like Google Tag Manager, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other apps on the <laughs> Shopify uh, store that will do just that. But in this method, first of all, it's a native integration, and then second, it's actually free. So that's why I wanted to make a video about it. To set this up, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on add apps. And if I scroll down here, there's an option to go to the Shopify app store. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then, like I said, it's a Google app, right? Because GA4 is a Google product. So I'm just gonna type Google here and uh, we are gonna see it right here. So it's called Google and YouTube. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm just gonna install the app. Cool, so now it's bringing me to this page and just saying, hey, do you wanna add the sales channel? That's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna click on that. And then um, you guys might not see this, but there, there was a pop-up and it's just asking to log in inside my Gmail. But now that I'm here, first of all, if ever you didn't have this app before, then you could actually go and uh, set up all of that. So you can set up your product listing, you're connected to your Google Merchant Center account. And if you don't know what that is, then I'm sure if you just go through the process here, it's gonna show you exactly how to set it up. Um, or if not, I'm sure there's a bunch of other YouTube videos showing you how to set it up, but that's not the purpose of this video. It's not to show you how to cr create a Google Merchant account, it's to show you how to set up Google Analytics 4. So I'm actually gonna skip that. And if you look at the top here, there's this pop-up right here that you can click and it says get started. Now. Um, if you're watching this video in a few months from now and then this pop-up is not there, it's gonna be somewhere here. So just kind of like look around inside the app or it's possible that in a few months from now, you need to maybe connect your merchant account in order to see this little announcement bar here, but it is there and you can connect GA4 by downloading this app. You just need to look for it, okay? But for now, it's actually right here. So I'm gonna click on get started. And as you can see, it's already connected to my Gmail. And if I go down here, this is actually where I wanna select my GA4 property. So I actually have a lot of different GA4 properties, so then I can just go ahead and select the one that I wanna use. Or if you don't have a GA4 account, you can actually click here right now on create new, and then they're gonna show you exactly how to create a, a GA4 account, but it's it's pretty easy. You just go to, just type on Google, Google Analytics 4, and then you can create your account. And then by default, you're gonna create a GA4 account and not a UA account because, I mean, UA is gone, right? UA stands for Universal Analytics. That's the old uh, Google Analytics. But it's pretty simple to create your GA4 account. But then let's say I wanna use this one. I wanna do is hit connect here. And then perfect, we're connected to GA4, right? So like I said, it's so easy to set it up. And uh, I mean, that's basically the end of the video, guys. Like the, as soon as you've done that, you are now sending standard events to GA4. So the reason it's so easy to set up is because you are a Shopify user and every Shopify store has a view content event, add to cart, initiate checkout, add payment info, and a purchase event. So because it's so simple and it's a standard e-commerce structure, Google was just able to make an app that automatically tracked those things. So if you've been following the video and uh, following all the steps that I've shown you, now you actually have a GA4 set up and I could, I could end the video here. There's nothing else to really share. You are now sending data to GA4. So just give it a few days and you're now gonna see data inside the GA4 platform. But one thing I will say though, is that this is not the end of it. Like now, yes, you're sending data to GA4, but you still have to learn how to analyze that data and potentially create custom reports. Because if you don't do that, then there's not really any point to 
sending data to GA4, right? You just kind of just have GA4 to have GA4, but you want to be able to use that free tool that Google provided you. And that's why um, I'm going to be releasing a lot of videos on this channel on how to use GA4 and some of the custom reports that I use for my e-com clients, because there is some reports that you, they're just not standard for the GA4 account that you need to create yourself that I personally do for all Shopify brands, because I like to be able to see like a, a breakdown of where the user or what's my biggest bottleneck, right? Is it like add to cards? Is it view content? And where do my traffic fall off my funnel? So um, I'm going to be showing you how to create those reports inside GA4. So if you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe because you don't want to miss on all those really valuable video. But guys, that is it for this video. Um, if you know, if you've learned something new, or if you're able to uh, set up GA4 for your Shopify account, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And uh, like I said, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the future videos. But uh, that is it. Bye for now.